Hey friends. Hey friends. Hey friends. Welcome to the Thank Us Later podcast. Get ready for some raw, entertaining, thought-provoking conversation between two girlfriends. Trust me, you'll be thanking us later. Yeah. Thank us later podcast. Yes, it's Angel. It's your girl TS. And this is episode number five. Oh, you remember that song, friend? Mm-mm. Mama number five. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. A little bit she of know why, y'all. You know, because I was in band class and then our band teacher used to make us play it all the friend. time. Friend. Really? Was. You was in band? Yeah, what instrument you play? <laughs> you play you play um, I played violin and Ooh, I you a, fancy. I, I had a violin recital with my granny. She the only one that came. I love her oh. so much for that Ida. Shout out to Ida May. And then uh, I played the recorder. Girl. <laughs> Girl, you know my Kennedy just got her recorded. She's she so happy did. about it. Yeah, oh girl. Gosh. Come on, Kennedy. She's like, Mom, she Mom, we need seven dollars. Um, we gotta have a recorder for our music class. <laughs> like, what is a recorder? She gets on my recorder. Kenny like, that's a damn flute. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dad, it's a recorder. Said, okay, get her to seven dollars. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. Cause I, I was good on that thing. That's okay. Good. I think she think that too. So, I mean, my baby doing her thing around the house. So, what did you play? Miss? I played the clarinet. Oh, yeah, pinkies up, pinkies up. Yep. So I was in there from like was it sixth grade, sixth grade to twelve. Oh, oh, so concert band, professional. concert band, jazz band, marching band. Yep. You are a, <laughs> so one time in band camp. <laughs> one time in band camp. <laughs> Band camp. Well, no, what we did, we didn't do band camp, but we always had to go to the um, field and practice for marching. Because in Hamtramck, we would have like a Labor Day parade that we mm-hmm. had to always gear up for to march. So we had to like work on, you know, how you you create stuff right. and everything with the other bandmates. That band, like when you a marching band, the marching band uniform is so hot. I can only imagine. I've seen it. Yeah, I'm choked up. I see it. <laughs> Y'all. Right, but yeah, that was really hot, you know. And then, did I, you have the hat? The hat with the feather. You know, I'm gonna show you a picture. My mom had a little feather on top. Oh mm-hmm. Yeah, the whole little everything, girl. So, do you think you could still play? Nope. So, okay, I feel like I did pretty good in band, but my cousin, who was older than me, okay, um, in our family, she's the musician. So mm-hmm. compared to her, it's like. Girl, what you was in band for all them years? <laughs> like my cousin Tracy, she like, oh, I play at Hart Carnegie Hall. Ooh, she was Carnegie. in band oh. and Sam U, and you know they don't play yeah, there. So my little my little clarinet wasn't adding up to her saxophone. Like, ooh, sax, girl, saxophone. Ooh, like and she legit. really took it seriously. Me, I was like, let me get in here because you know it's fun. You know, I get it's a class, it's an elective that right. It helped me get credits, and I know how to do it. So let me stay in it. But her, it was pa- her passion. It was her passion. Yeah, Carnegie Hall. Yeah, big deal. You know, okay. she really loved it. But Shout yeah, out. I did that. Mm-hmm. Okay, Look, I'm learning new things with my friend every day. Did you know? Yeah, I did. Okay, just keep going. Um, I played the, um in a band. I was on the baseball team. I was not good. You played baseball? I was on baseball. What were you, a catcher or a pitcher? I don't know. So I would call myself like the entertainer of the dugout. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I would say. Yep. I kept the folks laughing. The entertainer of the dugout. I rooted them on like, yes, girl, run the bases. You're going to have to put on the videos, entertainer of the dugout. I should. Well, you like put like uh, the caption like, we are studying your name, Angel. Mm -hmm. (laughs) AKA, the entertainer of the dugout. (laughs) They were like, uh. Uh, the coach would be like, you know, get in the, get in the um, left field. Girl, I'll be out there talking, entertaining the folks. Like, what y'all doing out here? Oh, what you doing over there? <laughs> hey, right fielder, you better stay ready because I ain't going to catch you. <laughs> but it was fun. I told my daddy, I'm like, daddy, buy me some new cleats. Like, the Nike ones, the black oh, ones. Oh, so you I, want a name brand. Yeah, I didn't want to get them dirty. 
I was man. I'm like, I'm not. Oh, I was in high school. I was. Oh, I, was you I got in there because I wanted another patch on my varsity letter jacket, so oh. I jumped in there. Like you know, they had already had their team accomplished, but I jumped in there <laughs> <laughs> to get that patch because I was always the I was the cheerleading captain. So really, I had the cheerleader on there, but I needed something else. You can't just have just a cheer, big cheerleader on the back. So I, I like, knew you was a cheerleader. But I knew you was a captain. Yep, I was the captain of the cheerleading team. <laughs> Yes. You got a show. I don't think move. I got the moves. Okay, give, me, give us a cheer. Give me just one cheer. Oh, ooh, it's been a minute, you know? I graduated in 2006. We, we, we always got it. You always got Friend, give us a cheer. I don't know. Friend, give us a cheer. I don't know. I don't think about it. Shy. I'm trying to think of a good one. Mm-hmm. Because I'm thinking, because you know how you hear it, but you don't really know if that's it. Friend, you ain't gonna do this. Oh, oh, go. Hit, we need to. I O W D Y E. That's the way we spell rowdy, rowdy. Let's get rowdy. Woo! Hey! Yes. Hey! You, you think I would know it, but you know I'm like Dory, so a lot of things. Hey, yeah, y'all, y'all don't know. We, if you watched the other episodes, you know, which friend, her memory is. Yeah, I'm taking fish out. But I like her. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying. I think they're working. You, you, think you so? remember that cheer? I feel like I'm you getting You remember working. that cheer. Just wait for next season. Y'all gonna be like, damn, she remember everything. She's like an elephant. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The fish oil pills are working. And they need to sponsor yeah. us. Listen, fish come oil on, pills. fish. Which brand? Which brand, friend? Shout them out. Oh, mate. What is they? Okay. Dr. Ooh, Tobias. Dr. Tobias. Dr. Tobias, Dr. Tobias <laughs> y'all. I had to think about it. I saw it in my room. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> hey, you said spoke too soon. She ain't remember I, shit, huh? No, I said, I asked too many questions. This is a baby step. Baby step. I'm almost there. I said next season, y'all. Oh, oh my goodness. She so, got up this weekend. Listen, this week, so I don't know. Friend, you know, I don't know how to cook, right? Mm. At all. Um, I, let me take that back. Because people always say, oh, you don't know how to do nothing. I know how to follow a recipe. I don't know how to make it my own and make it delicious, mm-hmm. I guess. I'm mm-hmm. learning how to do that. And so, my fiance know who he married. Yeah, <laughs> okay. he loves so you. So, he's the cook. However, comma, he had mentioned a couple of weeks ago, he was like, hey, the days I don't feel like cooking, he was like, you're going to be responsible for mm. either getting takeout or you're going to make us something. You gotta bring so some I was stuff. like, okay. So it's getting cold. Mm-hmm. And you know, if you listen to our last uh, podcast episode about the cuffing season, it's mm. getting cold. So He might uncuff your ass. <laughs> Let me go boil this water. So, right. (laughs) So, I have perfected Mm. over the last two years my chili in the crock pot. Okay. So, I make two chilies. I make the, you know, regular, uh, because we eat turkey meat. So, the turkey meat chili, and then I make a, um, the southwestern chicken chili that sounds really good yes yeah, so i was like which one do i want so i was like let me do the uh, turkey i haven't made the turkey one in a while so went here went to kroger's as we talked i told you oh, I go to here kroger's we go kroger's I- <laughs> how many times you bother them people that day <laughs> i went in there one time for that one meal got my ingredients came home did it all my thing put it in the crock pot smelling good smelling mm. good made my cornbread okay Shout out to because I shout we shout out to friends on this episode yeah. all the time. We shout out everybody. So shout out to my friend Shelby. She told me how to you can get the box cornbread, but make it your own, put your own little ingredients in there. So I put my own little stuff in my cornbread, put that in, everything. So the cornbread was a little bit later. Like I put it in after the uh chili was actually about to be done. So it took a little time. So he was like, Well, I want some cornbread too, but he was hungry, so he was like eating the chili. And he asked me to put um, Italian. So- well, he asked me to put sausage in there. But Wait a minute! If he said you got to cook, he can't come in there just add an extra oh, no. stuff that's, to the list. That's, that's how he is. But I, no, that was before I went to the grocery store. So he okay, like he, he caught you. Yeah, he, was, All right. he likes my spaghetti. That's another meal that I can make very good spaghetti. And so he was like, "Can you put the sausage that you put in the spaghetti?" So I was like, "Okay, sure." So I did that. So he getting it, he like he's eat, he eating it or whatever, and like he was like, "This is good." So the thing about me, I like I really hate, I really value his opinion about my cooking because obviously I'm gonna be his wife. You so want to see his face, yeah. Like, I, but also about my fiance, he's a Mikey. 
Oui. So he eats anything anyway. Oh, so. And he also, he's not wasteful. He like So if you prepare something, if it's edible, he's going to eat it. Because oh, okay. just that's just how his mind works. Mm-hmm. Even if it's not good, he's been doing that ever since I met him. So that's mind good. you. It, this, that's really good, though. It's not. Because I want you to enjoy it. So he actually, he got his bowl. He got his little crackers, his oyster crackers. But he was like, is the cornbread ready? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, all right, can you put some butter in my cornbread? I was like, okay. you're not going to have to do all that with my cornbread. Oh! <laughs> got out his cornbread he's like this you know this good he's like this cornbread man this cornbread good so i'm like okay he might be he's trying to guess you, you he got another bowl friend and his best one his best friends called him and he was like uh what you because i just finished eating this chili man tim made chili he was so good he's like and that cornbread was really kicking yeah so you bracket so he not about to uncuff you this season <sighs> <laughs> One, two, three. I got three dishes under my belt that he really like. That's all you need—a good salad, because that's three days out the week that you got. <laughs> you good? You can do a little <laughs> leftover. <laughs> How was your week, friend? <laughs> What's going on with you? It's a good week. I'm okay. feeling good. You know, ready to get into this weekend. Don't have much planned at all, but it's just no? feeling like you don't really gotta have nothing planned right now. Just kind of right. feeling like. Taking it down because you did so much in the summer. Yeah. So now I'm coming down. So I actually look forward to maybe a weekend where I could just, a hey, Do nothing. Do nothing. And that, and that's doing something. Yeah. That's what people don't understand. Because it's literally like what they say. I read something that said um, these weekends are starting to look a lot like those 30-minute breaks at lunch breaks at work. <laughs> It's more like those 15 minutes breaks. Them 15 little minutes. Right? Because it's going by. Mm. What you got over there, friend? Well, you know, uh, we do have a 313 spotlight mm. that Come we on. want to shout out. Oh, yes. And she's yes. like, yeah. Look at me. I'm looking at you like, <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> tell me more. Tell me more. You tell me more. <laughs> What's going on on that 313 spotlight? I know it was one of... It was a uh, apparel company, I believe, was it? Mm-hmm. And, um, oh, yes. I remember now. Mm-hmm. So, let me see. I, let me see, friend. Oh, you yep. got it? Yep, I got it. All right. So, it is a company. It is uh, your fave is. And it is basically based on your horoscope. So, all the, or should I say, astro- is it horoscope? astrology or is it yeah your your, astrology sign yep yep so your astrology sign so your fave is a and then it's whatever that that's i love that that. you know i love my sign yeah you know because i gotta get that shirt she a gemini oh i love that sign your fave is a gemini i'll be your fave is a libra or i feel like you could even mix and match the shirts i will wear my fave is a virgo because i'm marrying a virgo that makes sense yeah, so I feel like you can do that as well. So they have every sign for you guys, um, all sizes as well. Um, they have black uh, shirts with white writing and white shirts with black writing. So hit them up again as your fave is. Um, I believe they will be having, um, oh, actually they do. They have a Instagram. It is your, so Y-O-U-R dot Fave F A V is in Victor E is an Edward dot is I S. Um, it is Capricorn, the- Aquarius, <laughs> Pisces, Harry, Gemini, oh. <laughs> Cancer. Oh, I know even that's your girl. I she needs her. to promote with that song. Yeah, so this is my girl actually. Um, she is uh, listen multifaceted, honey. She has all the all everything. The businesses. But this business, she just uh, rolled Come on, out D. again. Yes, and she's calling herself the Scorpio King Queen. Okay, Scorpio Queen. Scorpio. Breaking hearts out here. Listen, she my OVO sis because we both born in October, honey. October very own. If you don't know now, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, yes, so definitely shout out to you, D. Your fave is again, look at follow them on Instagram and get you a shirt. Yes, D and made the 313 spotlight. 313 spotlight. And listen, as we say, and we may forget on some episodes, if you want to be on 313 spotlight, even come and let listen the podcast over here. Thank us later. Thank us later. <laughs> 
interview you and promote your, you know, <laughs> promote your business or anything service that you have. It's not. It don't even have to be a business. It could be anything. It's Just a, say what you got going on. Listen, in the three one three. And and we 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 have we we gonna tell y'all about our promotions that we have that we out there. What we got? For okay, you. now. Yes, we have sponsor packages. Sponsor we have silver, packages, yeah. bronze, gold, silver. And you know, right now, you better catch them right now while our prices are looking really mm. good because we blowing up, y'all. We blowing up. It's like mm, yesterday's price oh! is not today's price. Why? Just wait for it. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about. This um let me get into it before I get into the TV recap because that's gonna pretty much lead us in. Well, no, let's talk about the TV recap. Yes. So insecure. Ooh. So we told y'all if y'all didn't know, go back to the other episodes. That that's one of our favorite shows. Mm-hmm. Period. Point blank. Yes. Now this is the last season. I don't think it has hit me, so I'm not as sad as certain people. I see people on Twitter like, oh my god, I can't believe what am I going to do. I don't think it's hit me yet. Um, I watched the first episode. I actually, uh, me and my fiance was out for at a goodbye dinner. And um, we, so we didn't watch it when it first premiered, but we watched it later on that evening. And for me, I was cracking up from yeah. the start to the finish. Yeah. I was like, LOL. They was really literally making this episode. I thought it was good. Mm-hmm. Um, it really showed. I saw a meme and I actually posted it. It was saying that insecure or message, I guess, or whatever post. It said that um, insecure really uh, displays adult insecurities. Yes, and they do. Like how Issa felt inadequate. She has a business and she feel like, okay, it's good, but then you compare it to other people that have been in a business longer or more knowledgeable about the business or whatever the case may be, then you have that insecurity. You have Molly just got out of a relationship and she don't know where she's in, you know, she where she's going. to herself and her dog. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then she got this guy that, you know, was crushing on her for, you know, in college, whatever the case may be. And then she saw herself repeating, you know, the same steps. I know I've been there, like mm-hmm. literally repeating the same steps. You got Kelly, like, wow, if I die, what's going to happen? Care, yeah. Is anybody going to care? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's how, that's how you, that's how I remember. Like, oh my goodness, I didn't make an impact on any of these people. Mm-hmm. You know, so I really, I personally love the show. I love where it went. The ending, and again, I'm sorry, spoiler, spoiler alert, because we're going to talk about it. Um, the ending, I didn't like. But outside of that, it was fine. My my fiance and another friend of mine said, too, they were like, oh, it was underwhelming. Like, what well, is the first come. episode, so give them a chance. But I don't think it was underwhelming. Yeah, I feel like we were just cracking into it. We have a lot to unpack. First of all, my thing is, you know, Molly and um, Issa, they didn't end on the best note last season. Correct. So what I took from that is, even with Molly, it's like, I want to be close to you again, but I don't want to go there and show it. Like, Mm. I get from her, the insecurity I get from her is like, she's not okay with being 100% vulnerable. She Mm want to be a strong one, but still she's showing ways that's like, like she said, okay, you know, well, me and Issa just gonna go do our thing, right? You know, what Issa ain't really rocking with you like exactly. that. But it's how you, you know, you're gonna push us to do that instead of saying, hey, let's talk about it. Right. I feel like a lot of times that's what I be saying. Um, people don't want to have those awkward conversations, those real transparent conversations, so we can get mm-hmm. over it. They just want to push past it and act like. Let's go yeah. back to normal when it's like it's some hurt there. You can see yeah. their their relationship that it's not the same. Exactly. But that was a very transparent moment for Issa to even say, like, I feel like I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. That I felt that whole part. Like, yeah. yes, she's saying she is in tune with her feelings. She's saying everything that everybody else is think. You right. know, in your thirties, in your thirties, we looked at thirty to age turning to three three zero. Oh, you know, mm, oh, you supposed to be having your shit together, I girl. We supposed. What? I, I want this, I want that, I want that. Okay, I need my credit score up exactly, through the roof. Exactly. Okay, then I need a, I need a house tomorrow. Right. It, it's yeah. the day before your 30th birthday. Mm, yeah, I was I was her. I was that so person. So, that's a real thing. So, mm-hmm. just because she said it out loud, I feel like it's so relatable. Yeah, definitely. And then, even with 
I feel um my, okay let's before I get into this part because this the part that I want to get into is going to actually lead into the melan- melanated news so before I start there can I just say Kelly needs her own show as Kelly she is a very when girl. I say I and not just this episode just throughout the season she is hilarious mm-hmm. to me and when I found out that she ad-libbed some of her jokes oh really yeah I fell I'm like so you just funny yeah. so you just naturally funny yeah um, she commands your attention like literally um when they said it's her facial expressions too. When they said that she had the best stanky leg. Yeah. They was like, wait, who was the leg thing with Shy? She was like, oh, other leg. And she was like, oh, other leg. Oh, like, oh, other leg. Yeah. Yo, but they did play a lot of good songs oh, on this episode. They, yeah. they, and then the one that robbed him. That was hilarious. You know, I cracked up at that one. Because Shy, he was like, she was like, Shy. Like, I don't know he ain't just call your name. You are here setting us up. Issa, she was like, Issa was like, here. She's like, Issa, no, you can keep your shoes. I know, that's right. Like, we know you're still trying to figure life out, sis. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then the character that we did not talk about, uh, mm-hmm. and that's going to go into the melanated news, is Tiffany. Yeah. Who has like, my same name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we're completely different. Um, yes, the, yeah, the Tiffany. Yeah, I'm not her. I, I do like, I like, <laughs> I like Amanda still so much that I don't feel a way towards anybody she play. That's true. Because I love her. Yeah, yeah. That's so it's so hard for me to be like, oh, I don't like this person. No, exactly. Amanda Seals in real life, we know. You know. Exactly. She's bougie on the show. She's funny. Um, it was funny when they saw one of their classmates that brought their children, and then she was like, "Should we have brought?" I forget the, their daughter name. And her husband was like, "No, this is our time." Like, I love their dynamic. Mm-hmm. I love how they play it. Um, because he loved his wife. Like, yeah. That that man loved his. He's wife. like her, really her partner. Yes, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. I love. It. But um, going into the melanated news, mm, they have got? been getting at our girl, Amanda Sales. Now, we are mm-hmm. here at Thank Us Later podcast, yeah. huge fans of Amanda Sales. We went to go see her yes. a couple years ago when yes. she came to Detroit. Amanda, can you come see us? Please come to the pa- thank podcast. You. Please and thank you because <laughs> we love you so much. And she has a smart, smart and funny, and what is it? Smart, funny, smart, black. funny and black. There you go. Mm-hmm. Smart, funny and black. That's like us. Yes. Oh, uh, like boom. Yes. And like it was a good time. And anyway, yes, was like, it was such a good feeling. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't bring up. Look, that was such a it good was. time. It was like you was with your cousins and you didn't like, know nobody didn't know in there. Nobody. <laughs> and it was first of all, let me just say, friend was on her way. She was driving. I was out there in the sun, so hectic, but it was a good time. Everyone's, oh, you look cute, girl. You look cute. You look. Don't know these people from a no. can of a paint. You know, if you're a Amanda Seals fan, you know your people. Exactly. And then the venue was so intimate. Yes. It wasn't a huge place. It was so intimate. We got up. We were singing before I let go. Doing a hustle, y'all. Hey, Doing hey. She told y'all this building wasn't that big, but it was perfect. <laughs> but it was a good. That was a real good yeah. show. Come on, bad girl to the we G. We going. Yes, going we have. To, I love her. So you know she does all these amazing things. I know people. You know they don't like her because she's opinionated mm-hmm. and she really honestly be stating facts. Low yeah. key, she say it and I think it's her delivery that a lot of people can't respect. Yeah, that could be it. And so her on this show, she plays the Tiffany um, character, which is like I said, she's bougie, but she's also a in a sorority, which is AKA. Mm-hmm. And now people are like getting on her because her wardrobe stylist, the writers of the show, wrote in, "Hey, we're gonna put her in the real, uh, you know, AKA paraphernalia," and people are like. Well, I'm not saying people. That sorority is like, oh my god, I can't believe that. No, she didn't earn them letters. Da, 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 da. Like going off on Amanda Seals, but she's a character. And if you remember, friend, I was saying it's two different things. Yeah. Like when we're talking about Gina and Tisha Campbell, mm-hmm. that's two different people. I don't understand. And again, if you're going to be mad at anyone, like the wardrobe stylist said. Be mad at me. And not only that, do you think about how many people wore um, 
like sweaters and stuff that will say Morehouse College. Like they have like exactly. different lines now exactly. that have you represent these colleges that you didn't go to. Um, you know, they did that with a lot of what Bill Cosby in them era. Like, yes, those, they did. Yeah, they, they did. wasn't. Yeah, going, you, you think of Denise was going where? But they did. I will say on those shows they changed the name. So it wouldn't be the actual sorority. Hmm. Like, and even, um, I don't know, if, uh, friend, did you watch the Parkers? Yes, girl. Okay, so AAA! Yes. It was supposed to be AKA, but they changed it to AAA mm-hmm. to, so I guess, said, be you're respectful. To do that. Uh-huh. So you're supposed to do that. From what I just learned this, actually, I didn't know nothing mm-hmm. about that. I'm not in a sorority, so I didn't know anything about it. But I was told that you are supposed to change the letters. You're not supposed to be that. Like, if you're going to wear them, you're not supposed to actually have Don't, the same letters. I feel like it's other shows that talk about the cute dogs. And, I feel like yeah. they did, or it may be similar. I don't, I can't, because, like, uh, me and my fiance was talking about it. He was saying, like, how Stump the Yard did. Stump the mm-hmm. Yard was supposed to be, I get those were supposed to be cues, yeah. but mm-hmm. they were not. They were uh, um, the things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, that's what they, they said. It's funny that they, you remember that. They, <laughs> <laughs> How many times you watch some? Really? Yeah, I watch that every year. Clearly, because Columbus short before he got crazy. Yeah, he that was, was a very good man. actor. And he had a very big career. He, oh, mm, mm, mm. Listen, he made me mad because he messed up when he was getting that scandal money. That that's was, that that's real bad. Yeah, yeah, what's wrong? Yeah, Why did they go through your hair like that? And all that stuff. So that's crazy. So yeah, so they they really um got on there. But did you hear uh what uh, Issa Rae said? Mm-mm. So her PI, let me. I gotta pull it up. Um, what her reaction to the criticism? Because you know our girl Issa Rae is also one of the yeah. favorites of the show. And um, here at the Thinkers Later podcast, like we love, we love you. Issa we told you to rain. come on the second episode. <laughs> And that invitation still, still, still stands. We mm-hmm. still extending it. But um, this computer of mine is coming up. But I, I don't know if it's, it's thinking. But she uh, basically. Oh wait, hold on. Here we go. Let's see. Because I got I got a quote, y'all. You got to make sure you get it right. Don't have these people chewing Issa. <laughs> no, because it's funny, friend. Yes. It's funny. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here she go. Issa Rae responded to the individual because. Um, the individual basically said that uh, this girl is not a soror and had my shield on her body. That's what she said. She said, don't do that again. It's wildly disrespectful. That's what she said. Hmm. So, and she tagged HBO. She tagged Issa Rae in there as well. And so Issa responded with a smooth text of, oh, shit. Let me tell HBO to delete the one of the upcoming episodes then. Hold on. I know that's right. Because, girl. It ain't happening. Shut up and go back. Go back and do what you was doing. Again, I don't have that emotion or any ties to that type of sororities or anything like that. So, I don't know what that is. I know what the sisterhood would mean. But it's a way to go about it, too. But it's a TV show. Mm -hmm. It's a TV show. So, yeah. Amanda still posted about it. She um, said, uh, I saw in her story, she was like, if she wasn't in therapy, the way people were coming mm-hmm. at her, she would be, you know, it would yeah, be Yeah, like, she probably gets tired of being a strong person. Yeah. Leave her alone. Yeah. They come for her. They don't stop coming for Amanda still. No. Like, she hasn't had a break Mm-mm. at all. They hate her. We love oh, you, though. <laughs> Come to <laughs> Thank Us Later podcast. Come we'll bring, later we'll podcast. give you flowers, girl. Listen, we're going to continue to give y'all flowers regardless. Mm-hmm. So the other thing I wanted to talk about, I didn't have too much melanated news on this topic because, or this uh, episode because the topic we have, I'm really excited to talk about. <laughs> Very interesting. But um, this, did you hear about 21 Savage? Mm. Um, it's getting sued by Frick Nick. Why? What he did out Nick there? Friend. So this baby, he ended up, he decided he wants to have a party. Um, and it was Freak Nick themed birthday party. Okay. And are you familiar with Freak Nick? Yeah. Okay. But so 
Yeah, he decided to have this in Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, and that's where the freak Nick originated. Mm-hmm. You know, and I never, I never be an Ivy because I'm, I'm, I'm older, but I'm still young, so mm-hmm. we didn't, you know, experience that. However, I, I, I would have went. If I, I bet you would have. <laughs> when Stop you started to play, I was about to say that. Yeah, you would have been out there. <laughs> So he had this, I mean, it was basically the same thing. Just the street was filled with people, cars, everything, just how the Freaknik was. And he did not um, shout them out. He didn't give them any credit to it. Like, I guess because they do have the um, name trademark. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're like, "What, what you doing? You can't just use our name with saying this is a theme Freaknik party. What? Come on. That's what they say I'm friend. Nah. That's what they, that's what they say. They going to get me um uh, mm-hmm. cuz um I don't <laughs> First of all, if he wasn't as big as he was, okay, it's people in the hood right now that's got a freak nick something going on this weekend. What they saw them, they said, sex, we gotta have to sue them when all we ask that they acknowledge us since it was the a free event and they declined. Acknowledge you like how? For, and that's the tough part I didn't understand because um, they, they go on to say and these are again the, the, when I say they these are the organizers of Freak Nick they said uh, spending over a million to revive a brand fighting negative public perception and proving we can do it in two years with no issues comes at a cost we cannot let others just infringe on that so no, when you hear them talk and we try to work it out very easily beforehand. So Freak Nick basically was just like, I guess they wanted, I think they wanted something to do with his birthday party. and Because they, no. the, they wanted to bring attention to them. They wanted exactly. to use what he had going on because it's such a big thing. It was all over social media. So it's like, hey. Let us ride your coattail since we created it. Right. You know, because I'm telling you, it's people in the hood that Freaknik probably ain't chasing down. <laughs> they, we don't, they're probably like, we don't want no part to that Freaknik. So, I'm, and I'm just looking, because I'm looking, I'm trying to look at that flyer again. They said trademark, but his Freaknik yep, 21 totally different. does not look like their brand mm-hmm. that they have. With, they had too many celebrities showing up. Yeah, and that's what it was. Mm-hmm. They just wanted that cheddar, but it was a free event, so I'm kind of confused as to why right. and they thought they were going to make money on it. A good time. That's what Yeah, I mean. so... I don't know. Just tell him to sit down. They I just happy hope, hopefully people. 21 Savage and him can settle out or them can settle out of court or whatever it may be because, I mean, it's just, I mean, because I, from what my understanding, freaking was just for all of us melanated people go down there and just have a good old time. What's the issue? Like, mm-hmm. why can't you just get slow It's in? bringing it, actually, that's helping because... You bring more attention to it. Mm-hmm. Next year, somebody else Ooh, will want to do something to it. You're right, friend. Mm-hmm. Will Smith, don't come for me. I just gave my son a birthday party that um, <laughs> was a did. fresh Prince of Bel Air theme. <laughs> so don't come for me. All right. Oh, that's funny. Well, what is our topic this week? Episode number five. Boom, 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 yes. Boom, 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 boom. The topic of the week is the list. The list. What list, what list friend? Tell them. You know what women be doing. <laughs> you know. You know they be out here creating a whole list. Creating a whole list for the man they want in their life. I did that. You did it? I did that. I started my list in high school. Mm-hmm. And I remember what was on my list. I was like, I because I get reminded of it all the time now that I'm engaged. Um, I wanted a six feet or taller man. Hmm. And what's I, your height? My height? Mm-hmm. I'm five, five and a half. So he had to be six feet or taller. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So six feet and taller. I wanted him to be a boiler. Boiler! <laughs> Shot caller! <laughs> um, I wanted him to be, uh, have a nice career. Mm-hmm. Um, you said this was 16? I was 15 when I made this. Okay. He was supposed to have a career? No. I, you no, said you just was, my Okay. This was, so how long? When did the... Let me... Okay. <laughs> because I, I told myself that my list would change every two years. When mm. did your list expire? 
my list got revised when I turned 25. Okay, so 15 to 25, it was the same list. Uh Uh-huh. So you kind of, okay, carry on with the list. So um, I wanted him to be, uh, he had to love the Lord. Mm Mm-hmm. He had to be loved the Lord. He had to be a freak. Oh. Okay, <laughs> you said. Was that a non-negotiable? Yes. That's right. That that's was that's a right. non-negotiable. I want him to be a freak. Freak in the morning. Freak, freak in the evening. Just like me. Hey, that's my song. Y'all don't know. I, I love hear that song. it. I that's hear sad, it. That's sad, though. Because mm-hmm. that song came out when I was six. But that's neither here nor there. So that's why you made that list. I understand. <laughs> I understand where we're going here. Um. Oh, I had on there. He had to have nice clothes, so his shoes and stuff. His get his nice. I remember. It. I was like, he had to be. Well, I'll put at the time. He had to wear a name brand. Girl. Um, and you telling me this this list lasted until twenty five. Uh huh. Girl, go ahead with your list. And you know, I you know, so those were just the basics. Yeah. But then when I turned twenty five, I took off. No, I kept the height on there. Yeah, you said that was a non I was like, I was like, God want me to be with somebody that's that tall. Uh-huh. I just kept, I just felt it, and I would date guys that tall, but I also would look- date guys that uh-huh. were shorter too. So it was like, no, nah, you ain't my husband because uh-huh. God want me to be with somebody six foot. So you skipped right over that man because he ain't. Did you like? No, I would date him. Uh huh. I just knew you were not my husband because you weren't tall. Because. Wish she was a little bit taller. I wish she was a boiler. See, this is exactly what the <laughs> heck I'm talking about. My list was very superficial when I was like yeah. 15, 16. Okay. Tell us, friend, what was on that? Oh, I'm embarrassed by that no, girl. Come on, that is- girl was, that girl ain't know nothing. Listen, she, that girl didn't know nothing. It wasn't until it was like my cousin had a boyfriend, and I literally used to, like I said, every two years have a list. Like, okay, because different boyfriend Mm -hmm. and now I know I don't want that I want this now I'm gonna change Mm -hmm. it up change the list and rearrange it and my cousin she was dating an older guy and he told me I was materialistic Ooh. Yeah, I had never heard that before. I was what sixteen, but that was really how I was thinking back then. It was like, oh, you have to, not only did you have to have a car, you had to have a really nice car. Okay, like you, you had to have the latest gym shoes. Um, mm. Like you had to be really handsome, but you also had to be really funny for me, like make me laugh. Okay, and then I used to always tell boys, like I used to come from the beginning and say, I'm a Gemini. You have to keep me entertained, or I will get bored with you, and I'll go on to the next. I was embarrassed oh. about that girl. Yeah. <laughs> so then as I grow up, that list has changed drastically. Like those yeah. things, I realized those things never matter. Like, cause I could get that. I could literally find that person and I could still be like, it's still something missing. Like the values. Mm-hmm. So like, okay, you got all that girl. He don't know nothing about God. Uh-huh. Girl, he ain't family oriented. Speak. Girl, first of all, is he smart? Preach. Yeah, put that on your list, girl. Preach. So I was looking at all, like, I, and that's when I did realize when he said that, like, you're materialistic, I was like, I had did some soul searching. Like, ooh, am I? Because, and I, <laughs> I was. That was Now, I have a question for you. Now, because, again, yours changed over two years. Mine, for me, changed, like, after 25, I changed it, and then I will probably tweak it here and there. However, comma, my question is, do you think that the things that you wanted, you you were the same person? Like, say, for instance, like, say you're like, oh, I want someone to make a lot of money or not. Let's say not, but have a good job. Do you think you had, like, did you mirror what you were looking for? And do you have to mirror what you're looking for? I think now I know that just hearing a lot of different women talk and what they think that there's the man's supposed to have all these requirements for the man and then they not bring a half to the table mm-hmm. that bothers me but at like 16 16 17 where my mind was i was literally under the impression that i didn't have to bring shit to the table Ooh. that was like my head like you're lucky to be with me oh you better come with it all and yeah. then i'll let you know if i stay around and that's okay. a horrible you know way to think but that's realistic like that was the chapter I was in my life didn't know nothing that girl right, didn't know course. nothing you yeah, just we out here we mm-hmm. grow okay but now I just like when people say you'll hear a lot of women like you know I got a baby but the guy on my list he can't have no kids let's talk about it yeah let's talk about let's stay there for one second mm-hmm. I know individuals that 
are like that now in their thirties, and they say no. They that's a non-negotiable. Uh, they they say. like I'm not. I got kids, but I don't want you to have children. And I'm like, how is that fair? Mm-hmm. How you got these these requirements, and you're not measuring up to your list? So, but I, for me, I feel like the list that I left, I yeah, left with because now I'm engaged. The the one I some of the things on there I don't possess and some of the things I don't even want but I want my guy to have. What do you mean? So for instance, I wanted to make sure that the guy that I was with um, when I like after 25, I was like I wanted him to have a college education. Mm-hmm. I don't have a well, I'm a college dropout, but fine. But I, I just I got a finish. hoodie with college dropout. Oh my god. Kanye West, please come through. My fellow <laughs> Gemini, come to the Tango Center uh, podcast. When I'm when I'm absent, be no, I'm m- and um, <laughs> our host Tiffany will be nice to you. Uh, Sorry, carry on. Probably won't. But anyway, I um I wanted that in my mate. Like I was because I just feel like education was that key. education and it's not even about intelligence because you can be intelligent and dumb mm-hmm. so i wanted it's like life experience i wanted a balance i wanted you to have that street experience but also wanted you to have that that education behind you as well and i mean i ended up getting it but that was just something that i just i don't know because i find it super attractive but i didn't want him to lean on that because i dated someone that leaned on his education and he was the dumbest person i've ever met in my life if Mm. that makes any sense yeah like literally like i'm like you're boasting about this degree you have but yet you have nothing he should just wear the um degree on his forehead that part it was like and then he in turn told me you need to go back to school and finish school mm-hmm. but why do i need to do that yeah you ain't and, you. and you ain't selling me on nothing the way you act and you ain't learn shit in there now you got to send your I friends to one of the top three schools in the country and but but you don't got no car yeah that's i feel like he felt like and i think sometimes he might feel like i have to check off all the boxes mm. to show that i'm a catch like those boxes, he, ain't, he don't really understand why. Like some people are like, oh, yeah, you have to be educated. And I understand that if you're like, I'm an educator, I'm a teacher, and I feel like we have to have something to talk about. Right, I want right. to, you know, okay, it's like, okay, I understand why you said you want them to, you know, be yeah. educated and stuff. But for him, he might have been like, I got to get this degree because girls, you know, and they, I could tell her that I got my degree and that's going to look like, make me look like a kid. I think it was actually what you said at first because he did, he was like, because I, he, reason why he wanted me to go back to school, he's like, because I want you to be able to hold conversations with people because all the people in my family and all the people I hang around with have these degrees. So I want you to be able to hold a conversation. And I'm like, can I not hold a conversation now? And he was actually, I and mean, you can see why it didn't work out. He actually would be surprised when I would hold conversations with people, and mm-hmm. he'd be like, "Oh wow!" It's just, I don't oh, want to wow. talk to you. I can talk. I just don't choose to talk to you because you're so ignorant. But it's the fact that you think that I am mm-hmm. not intelligent just because I don't have a ignorant MD by my name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, friend. Ugh, so I have that brings me to a question. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I just oh, you, got the, you did you caught, catch the Holy Ghost? Like. <laughs> Why are you drinking your drink? <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. All right. Let me go to this question. I'm going to let you finish. Okay. So are men not worthy of finding their equal and creating a list? Men have lists. Mm-hmm. They have, like, they say women have, a, like, a actual physical list and then a mental list. But, I, well, the men that I know and have dated, they have a mental mental list. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they should get what they want on their list. So as well. say it's a man, do because I think some women they look at men like they bougie if they come at them with a list. Like boy, some women do. I don't because I think it's a lot of women. Some like some women be like, you know, no, he should just be lucky to have me. And that's fine, but is she where is she at now? She's saying because I feel that. A man should want what he wants. Now, be realistic. Mm-hmm. Like, you're not about to get no, you know, 
Instagram model and all that stuff that looks like that and then she also is intelligent and can cook and want to do all this and take care of you you're not going to get all that mm-hmm. so be realistic in what you want but you definitely should have a list and you definitely should have sense like oh no nah, girl you oh yeah wait wait what you you only take a shower once a week no mm-hmm. I'm straight mm-hmm. you know yeah I do agree with that. I think that everybody should kind of have a list, but I think it should be realistic. I think that sometimes, even when, like with the height thing, Mm -hmm. I do get it, but I do think think that sometimes, like, that's not a heavy hitter for me, like, because he could be seven, seven feet tall and just... Just seven, a body full of dumb. Just Listen, dumb. Just dumb. I dated someone. Um, he was six six, almost six seven. He was like six six and a half. All oh, that height for nothing. Who what he child that? Who he was? Um, he was uh, or is uh, in IT. So he had a great job, everything. But he was um, he was a cancer, and he was he just had broke his girlfriend, ex girlfriend, uh, cheated on him with someone they worked with. Oh, that's unfortunate. So he was still stuck on that. Mm-hmm. And he was so, like, if I didn't answer the phone, he's like, oh, she's talking to someone else. Girl. And I said, see, this. Yep, that won't go work out. I can't. Would you? I was like, because I really thought it was this. I was like, oh, wait Girl, a minute. When the you, you Lord said, and bless me. You said cancer. I already knew where this was going. <laughs> she said cancer. Not friend. We talked about the list. And, you know, you're revising the list and changing your list, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think you can, like Miss B. Simone said, manifest that person you want on the list? I do believe that manifestation is real. Okay. Um, the list thing? I believe you can, mm. but you also got to be, like, aware. Because sometimes you can be saying, oh, I want this, I want this, and it can be, the man could be right there, and you skip him right over. I think mm. sometimes people make a list as a defense mechanism for not getting to know people for real. Really? Sometimes. Like, sometimes it's like, girl, like, it's a nice guy. And I do know someone who did this. It was like, he is the nicest guy. He had the height. Um... He treated her like a queen. He played basketball. This is all the things that she wanted. Basketball player. He got to be over six foot uh, two. You know, um, he has to be um, built. You know, he has to look good. You know, she her list never said that he had to be smart. <laughs> it never said, like, he had to be driven, mm-hmm. you know, like for the future. It was always just in the now. So right. it's like, if you look the part... I want that. Like, you didn't even get as far as to get to know him. It's like, hey, you meet everything. Okay, that's five things off my list. Come here. I'm going to make right. this work. But it, it was a guy that was, like, sitting right there. He was tall. He was dark. He was handsome. But his body wasn't built in a basketball player. It was mm. more like a football player. Okay. So it was like, hmm, I just can't get past that part. And this guy was have, so like so sweet. I'm like, yeah. no. I have friends like that. Um, I'm not gonna shout them out. Who did you just mm. shout out your friends? Yeah, because I tell them both of them, and they're one of them won't date anyone shorter than six. Did she say six one or six two? But she is tall. Okay, she's five nine or five ten. So she wants someone. So she's like, I want to look up to my man. I want to look up to my man. And I've been telling her for years. We've been friends for years. I've been telling her, listen, let just see what happens when you let that go. Mm-hmm. I was like, I, I get it. You don't want no short man. What if you get somebody the same as height as you? Like, mm-hmm. no, I, I can't wear heels. You definitely can. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, you can find like just figure it out. But the thing about it, you might be missing out on your blessing. Then I have another friend. She likes height too, but she's not too fixy on the height. It's more the looks. Like you gotta be six pack, mm-hmm. baby wavy hair. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like just built. Cause I go to the gym, so he gotta go to the gym. I get that now. But what if he don't go to the gym and he not fat, but he not skinny? That may be something that she's thinking about, like health wise. Like if I'm keeping mm-hmm. up my no, she just want to okay. Well, I'll try, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> I tried. You know who you are. <laughs> um, but no, and I be talking like, listen, and then what I would 
say this friend I'm talking about the second one she does give it a chance but then when it backfires she'll call me and she'll be like Tiffany okay. see cause this is what happens when I don't do the da 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 and I'm like, she don't right. go by that list yeah. huh? so that's another thing that I want to think about too because if you say you stray away from your list mm-hmm. and you know he ain't something that's on your list do you spend time with him and push him to change until you want him to I used to do that. Mm -hmm. I did that to two people that I dated and it backfired. I feel like I think in a relationship you could tell someone what you like. Mm -hmm. Like for instance if it was the working out thing and he didn't work out and I did. But like hey let's go to the gym. Let's walk together and do something like that. Like for instance my fiance he loves to run. I run if I'm chased. Okay. I jog. Yes. I can walk very fast, uh-huh. but I'm not running six miles for fun. Yeah. No, that's not me. So our compromise is we'll go to the gym or my compromise is he'd be like, all right, I want you to come outside with me. Let's just walk. Mm-hmm. So I walk with him. We'll fast walk, but I ain't running. So I feel like he did that with me. Like he was like, all right, I like to run. I wish she would run with me, but at least we can do something mm-hmm. activity, go to the gym or walk together. And then he does like the six mile run or eight mile or what he do? Oh, no, I'm sorry, 13 mile run. And I'll do a 5K. Yeah, so you're you want to do a 5K with me? Mm-hmm. I'll do a 5K. Three mile ain't nothing. Mm-hmm. But so I feel like you can just be like suggest stuff and try to do it at compromise. But if you know, don't just be like, all right, you don't wear uh, Gucci. I'm about to put you in all the Gucci and dress you up. Because if he don't, if he don't like Gucci, he not going to, first of all, he ain't going to treat it right. So yeah, gonna be on the floor throw that shit on the floor. And, you know, mm-hmm. all that. So it's just like, you shouldn't do that. Because um, I know someone that did that, actually. Mm. She um, didn't like the way someone dressed. And I'm just calling all y'all out. Oh, she didn't like the way. Get her, get, get her in the comments. Get her. <laughs> she didn't like the way someone dressed. So she was like, all right. Cause she she said um, he used to wear um, lawnmower shoes. What is lawnmower shoes? <laughs> <laughs> now what is that? So you know the, the gym shoes or he had grass or sneakers doing. or what people say. Um, no, no, but they was the ones that you would wear for yard work. Okay. Well, he was ready. See, somebody else would see, him, <laughs> see that on their list and be like, I love a good man that like to um, do some hard work. But she like you know where this. When we go out though, mm-hmm. and um, he, stay ready, ain't got to get ready, you know. And he will wear certain, uh, like uh, maybe he will wear those, so he'll wear his lawn shoes mm-hmm. with maybe some um, some slacks, some dockers, oh. and then a little shirt. And she like, what is going on? So she started buying him stuff and to wear, and he, he of course, he accepted it because they were dating at the time. But that one, but he like, I came on my lawn in this shit. Exactly, and the <laughs> fact about it is, she did all that, and still she couldn't. She couldn't even get with get him. past it because she's she trying to change him into that part, yeah. That she couldn't part. see past um, that and see and exactly see what he was good at. Just accept him. Yeah, accept him or don't. Let yeah. that man. Or let that man go on to somebody else. There's some woman that's sitting there looking at her grass right now, like. <laughs> Dang, man. A good man with some good lawnmower shoes. Come through here. I'm going to take him in here and cuff him. For cuff the season. <laughs> oh, friend. So, I want to say, I think so for some people, they think that, um, okay, I'm he he's not meeting my list requirements all the way, but... I am going to settle and, you know, get him in the door. And then I'm going to keep trying to change him. Mm. And eventually, he'll be what I want him to be. And then you push him away. Mm. You push him away. And then you're wondering, like, okay, well, he went out there and he cheated on me. But, he, you know, why? Why did he do that? And I think it's because he he knew that he wasn't what you want it something that, like some way somehow people tell them themselves they show like you could be saying some things talking down to him and you don't even know you're talking down to him mm-hmm. you know or saying some things that you don't like or nagging or nitpicking him and that is like overwhelming mm-hmm. so i just don't feel like people should settle on their list mm-hmm. but i think that their list needs to be like it needs to grow up like some you have to grow up and think about the things that really really matter like i had to learn that 
it had to be about my real true values. Yeah. Not like the little things. Those little things that even if it's height, like Yeah. I would just be like, You had to be taller than me. I ain't that that tall anyway. So I don't really need You're to not. waste all that height. It's a woman out here that's taller that mm-hmm. she she might need you. Yeah. She might want you. You know, I'm not gonna take you know from that. But right. if it was a tall man, I'm not gonna be like, mm mm you know, I don't deserve that because I'm not too tall I'm not tall yeah. enough. So I don't know. I just feel like the list should be realistic, though. I do think the list should be realistic. Um, And that's why, like, after I turned 25 and I was just critiquing, I'm like, it don't even matter what it is. Like, like you said, those core things. Is he intelligent? Is he smart? Is he good with his money? Um, Is he good with his family? That Mm -hmm. was one of the things that I was like. Oh, what about, um, like, spirituality and... Yeah. All that some people don't even think about that, and that then they'll be with a whole one. atheist and not even know it exactly. until you five or, years in. Or, or dated somebody that told me he believed in the Lord, but he was just still like he felt there was no consequences for his actions. Like you can do whatever, and nothing's gonna happen to you. What are you talking about? And I was like, no, there, I, I can't go kill nobody and think that's pleasing to the Lord. Mm-hmm. And he was like, who said that? I, I, let me find it for you. I don't know the actual book. Mm-hmm. You know, it was just like. He was trying to argue down about the Bible. Like, all the yeah. time. And it was like, and out of, out of all of that, we were cool. He was a great guy. Um, just very intelligent. He had a son. He was super active in his son life. Like everything about him. But when we got on that my attraction was done like I didn't even like him anymore and he does he uh lives in Florida Mm -hmm. he doesn't live here but I would go visit him blah 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 and so that was like a non-negotiable I I, I could even if I wanted to try to make Make it it work work, Mm -hmm. it would not I literally got turned off and that's Mm -hmm. when I realized because again I'm after I'm over 25 at this point I was like I mm -mm. yeah I can't be with someone that we're not on the same belief. Because his views would have came yeah. out and everything. Because it sounds like he's really... Oh, he was at yeah. it. And he, and he was older than me. So, so you know how people are when they're older. Yeah. They're like, no, this is what it is. Let me teach you some. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, I'm good. Thanks, though. It was Mm-mm. fun. Mm-mm. It was fun. So I'm just really stuck on that part about like how some people think that they can have these kids and nobody is supposed like the other person is not supposed to yeah I think that's unfair I mean I don't have children yet but I think that's super unfair because you can't what well the reasons I'm getting or have gotten should I say from my friends and associates that say that they say because they don't want to deal with a baby mama because they are baby mama Mm -hmm. Um, so I or an ex or an ex-wife. I don't want to deal with an ex-wife or I don't want to deal with a baby mom because them chicks da, 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 I know because I'm one. Okay. Maybe it was maybe it, they got to a civil point. You don't know. Mm-hmm. Like you, that's why you probe and ask questions. That's why you date and find out. Um, they also said, um, because and this is maybe one of the superficial things you were talking about. Um, he not going because I well, let me say I said this, but I don't have kids. But I said I didn't want to date men with children because I feel that if you are a real parent, you ain't going to have no money for me and we can't do nothing. Because hmm. I like to travel. So he got to show that he really, really got a good, good job. He would have to. Like, mm-hmm. you would have to have a lot of money to be able to take care of your kids and date me. Yeah. So I'm not saying, of course, like, you pay my bills and stuff. I'm not that type of woman. But it, like I said, I like to go find dining. I don't dining. want you to have step when it comes to exactly. me. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Fine dining, vacations. Because you're definitely going in the door knowing, like, okay, exactly. you got a child. So. And, and I'm, I'm already like, oh, you, your money's tied up. You mm-hmm. can't do nothing. And that's fine, but that's not for me. And that's one of the things that people that do have children, women that do have children say, like, well, you ain't going to have no, you ain't gonna have no money for me. Mm-hmm. You can't. But they, they say you ain't going to pay no bills and you can't pay no bills in here. Yeah. Because they have those expectations of having to pay bills, mm-hmm. which I think is dumb. I think sometimes like experience can um, trump the list. Sometimes if you experience like what you do like or what you don't like, it helps you understand like, okay, I don't want to go down that road again. Mm -hmm. Instead of writing this, just this fantasy list and you, 
Girl, why he gotta be that tall? Because you know what happens? What? God shows you his list. Yeah. And then you said, oh, he shows you what you actually need and what you thought you didn't even Ooh, want. Is it a word? It's a want. It just it's, came through. It's a word. Because, you know, that, that's what happened to me. Mm-hmm. My superficial, he has to be this tall. He has to have this and he has to have that. I didn't know I needed a man that loved God more than he loved himself. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that I needed that because in times of my depression and stuff, it's not no, oh, let's go turn up at the bar. It's let's get down on our knees and start mm-hmm. praying so we hear from God and let him know and tell her, tell us what we need to do next. And that's good you listen because someone, some people will fight. I used God's to. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? I will be honest. I used to. My fiance, when we uh, first, uh, and it's going to be in my vibes, when we first uh, start talking, not dating, start talking, he was like, well, in order for us to date, you're going to have to come to Bible study with me. Mm-hmm. And I thought he was playing. <laughs> <laughs> Count me out. This is Tuesday. <laughs> I just finished working 12 hours. What you talking about? But literally, I started to go. And it, at first, I promise you, I was just like, I was at in that mind frame. I was just trying to get in his pants. So I'm mm-hmm. like, this is what I gotta do. Let me go pray. Hands. Pray a little bit. Let me pray. <laughs> and it continued on, and I realized he was serious. Mm-hmm. He was like, "Okay, Sunday, let's go. Okay, they having this at the church. Let's go." It was. Oh, he's pushing you towards his list. He, he said, "This he, is what he is worthy to have his list." And his list was there. Okay, Kevin, I see you. Listen, I see them power moves. <laughs> But I resisted at first. I'm like, this is stupid. Yeah. This is dumb. What are you talking about? But and the more I started to have my own relationship with God, and then I was like, oh, I want to do this. Mm-hmm. This is something I want. But, you know. That's a beautiful story. Thank you, friend. Yeah, that's really beautiful. It, you know. I'm speechless. I'm over here like, that. that's some good <laughs> stuff right there. But I do want to know. I, I feel like. There should not be a list, but I do feel there should. And I want to know your, you know, your feedback on it. It should be deal breakers, mm-hmm. non-negotiables. Mm-hmm. You, I feel like every woman and man should have non non-negotiables. Like I, my non-negotiable. Mm-hmm. What's yours? You cannot, and I repeat, cannot have any type of drug addictions. Oh, sorry, I can't do it. Because I feel, and I'm talking about hard drugs. I'm like, you know, in. in what if he hiding it though? Oh, friend, I'm nosy, so you ain't gonna hide it. He hiding it. He over here friend, um, shooting friend, up in his I baby toe. Publicdatacheck.com monthly. Yep. Okay. I will know. All right. Okay. Um, money management is okay. another deal That's breaker. That's big for you. Because I'm not good with my money. So, so you I need have somebody to help Oh, me. here you go, Ben. You like the baby mama saying that they can't have no baby. <laughs> you we just talked about this. Friend, you better start you a, better start measuring up to that list. It's a non-negotiable. <laughs> my next non-negotiable, as we just touched on it, you gotta you gotta love the Lord and for real. Don't just I love God. Mm-hmm. You love God. Like I know him. What's wrong with you? I heard no. about my granny used to take me to church when I was sick. <laughs> No, I need you to have a real relationship. And I'm not judging a relationship, whatever, whatever level it on, that's on you. But it has to be real. It has mm-hmm. to be authentic. I can tell um, on that. Oh, I just remember. I'm sorry, y'all. I just remember. Me and my fiance was just talking about uh, this guy I was uh, talking to or was dating or whatever for a little minute. And I was like, I don't know why I stopped talking to him. But I ended up blocking him because we were talking about blocking people. And I was like, I blocked him. Now I know why I blocked him. He didn't believe in God. Yeah, that's enough. Honestly, that's really enough for me. Yeah. That's right there. That's um, a big deal. That and um, disrespect. Mm. I feel like your disrespect is a non-negotiable. And, you, and I feel like that, I can see that from a mile away. It could be something as simple as you just getting loud. Mm-hmm. So that, so that, like they talk about the list, like somebody might be scoping my, oh, yeah, there go his height, there go his, this, go, there go that. And I could be looking like, I don't like the way he treated that waiter. That's enough for me, I you know. Too. Yeah, like yeah. I like to see you when you don't see me seeing yourself. Mm-hmm. 
Yep, that's it. My, I mean, my non-negotiables, I mean, it's not that much. Yeah, mental health. Mental health is a big deal. That, and my, it's not that you have to have it all together because we all are trying to figure out on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. But you have to be mm-hmm. aware of it. Mm-hmm. And if you do need assistance, if you do need help... I mean, we're laughing, y'all. We, I'm like, this, like, look, we keep it real here. So we record, of course, here at, at, at the house. And you can hear my fiance. Our third, our third co-host. <laughs> our third, we're going to tell him he to come up here. Night. I don't know. But I don't, I don't know where he's coming from. But anywho, um, yes, mental health, I want you to make sure that you are aware if you do have some depression issues, if you do have anxiety, whatever it may be. I need us to work on it because if you if you got some childhood trauma, let's try to start unpacking it if you not have already started because I just feel like that also plays a huge role in a relationship and I cannot and I will not. Bag a lady, you go hurt your back. Mm-hmm. I won't. No. I won't. I'm not hurting my back because I got baggage so I need to be having your yeah, baggage. Yeah, so nobody want to have a back hurting all day. <laughs> This is sponsored by Motrin. <laughs> Motrin, how about us? How about us? So, touch by Angel. Come on, hit us with it, friend. Touch by Angel. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> okay, this is going to be quick and simple because it's going to be around the list. So, hey, ladies, change the list from looking for. The guy with the latest J's. <laughs> Fast forward to your thirties. Start looking for him with your four hundred one k. So that's a word. Yep. So trade those latest that's pair of J's. Okay. For a fella with a four hundred one k. Yes, ma'am. Just gotta start making yes, power ma'am. moves. You know, <laughs> stuff that matter. Money moves. <laughs> if you are gonna have a list, make it make it count. make it real. Thank mm-hmm. you, Angel, because that's. Just touch by angel. Touch by a little angel. Sweet, you know. That Does was good, right? Free. I heard you. Yes. Yeah. We gonna have to get in the booth. <laughs> Record some of these songs. Oh, yes. Well, that was our podcast episode number five. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna keep saying Goodness. Five. Man, we getting up there for We you. are really getting, up, getting there. up there. But I do want to go ahead and let y'all know. Of course, follow us on Thank Us Later podcast. Y'all already know L number eight TR. Mm-hmm. And that's on all platforms. Mm-hmm. And then email us, please, guys. Yes. A listener letter, please. Just give us something that you want to tell us, want us to talk about. Please email it to us or you can DM it to us on our yeah. Instagram. Okay. Because yeah, exactly. we're really going to shout you out. Well, we won't. It'll be anonymous, <laughs> yes. but we will talk and about it. It might be anonymous. Yes. But they probably do. <laughs> Send your listener letters in. Send them in, please. Let us know how we're doing. Weigh in on our topics at Thank Us Later Podcast at Gmail. Yep. Friend. Yes, this was a good episode. Yes, it was good. That was some good stuff. It was always good. It know? is always good, right? It's mm-hmm. just like a flow. We just mm-hmm. be talking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next episode.